Well, there's a new version around, new area, but there's still a few quests I gotta finish from uh, version 4. Uh, 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 just opening a map here to check them. I don't think this should take too long. But let's see. Uh, first of all, there's some girl named Salsa around. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's check her out. Uh, I think we got a chest, maybe two. That should make her fall or something. Huh, but I didn't small. really start her quest. Uh, uh, oh, this would be over there. Uh, yeah, those chests huh. next to those things. I avoided them because the map tells me there's a quest here, so I waited. I don't remember what I had to do. Maybe that down there. Uh, don't you think this puzzle is a little strange? I don't remember the puzzle, but okay. I think it's fine as long as it gives us a, tre a treasure chest. Strange? I don't think it's strange at all. No. No, you're not wrong, but. Paimon has so many questions. Who placed these items? And uh, why did they place them here? Sometimes, the more you think about it, the worse it makes you feel. Perhaps a mysterious person with an equally mysterious agenda is behind this. Everyone knows when you're just making things up. Everyone got it. These puzzles in the wild are actually set up by the Adventures Guild. The aim is to train the guild's rookie adventurers. Then we shouldn't be taking them. After all, places like ruins and dungeons are really dangerous. Uh, most puzzles in the wild are safer compared to those deadly devices. As for this strange puzzle, a rookie adventurer from the Adventurer's Guild must have set it up. This person has no experience, so he ended up looking pretty strange. How's that? Makes a lot of sense, right? So, it's a case of rookies training fellow rookies. Uh, that can be helped. No one is born with work experience, so if you must have experience before you can do the job, then no one will be able to work. Uh, yeah, Paimon doesn't mind a strange puzzle if that's the case. Uh, how weak. To be kind to others is to be cruel to yourself. Uh, whoa, where did you pop up from, little girl? Little miss, I'm not some nameless little girl. Behold, standing before you is the great artist Salsa, who will be the future of Fontaine's art scene. Little miss, is she referring to Paimon? I don't think I'll ever be addressed as little miss. Oh, well, of course. Look, I'm this much taller than you, although I'm shorter than the mister next to you. Uh, but my mom said that as long as I drink a lot of milk and be good and go to bed on time, I'll definitely grow taller. So I'll be a big sister in a few years' time, and you'll be a younger brother. I don't think it works the way. Uh, but Salsa, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, is this your this canvas yours? Yeah, the scenery uh, really the scenery. Is pretty here so it's a great place to sketch if we if it weren't for these ugly things i would have completed my painting long ago mr a flying little miss are you are the two of you are you two here to sketch you excellent taste oh we forgot to introduce ourselves Pymon's Pymon, not some flying little miss and uh, his ignus uh, we are adventurers traveling around the world well, so you guys are members of the evil organization? Oh no, I let my guard down. Evil organization? Uh, didn't Lumis mention just now? 
those bad guys in green from the EVE organization. They installed all these ugly things here and ruined all the beautiful scenery. Uh. Yeah, so those chests really were set up by them. Uh, I didn't realize uh, you two were working with those evil green guys. What am I going to do? The impact was a that forget it. Is there anything we can do to help? After all, it is a member of the Adventures Guild. Oh, are you going to become one of the good guys now? That's the right choice. Uh, we should work together to defeat the evil organization so our eyes no longer get polluted by ugly things. Someone doesn't understand what do we have to do exactly. We can't just charge into the hard quarters of the Adventures Guild, right? That said that we have to do things one step at a time, so we should start with what's in front of us. It's a little miss. Paimo, please help me arrange these ugly things. With great art sauce's guidance, this is going to be a piece of cake, so don't worry. Okay then, we'll listen to you, Inus, let's give it a try. What are we supposed to move? Look over there. Uh, nature creates its own line work, but the ugly things destroy the natural flow of the landscape, which is why they don't fit in. Uh, it was that. In order to make those ugly things less unsightly, we have to arrange them so that they fit into naturally occurring lines. The pattern of flower bushes in the meadow flows follows the flow of nature. So if we don't want the ugly things to hurt our eyes, we need to arrange them so that they too follow the flow. So such readers should place the objects that doesn't fit it, train the flowers, a bush not the farm line. Should I can't move the camera. Very good, looks much better this way. Just one, I didn't really pay attention to the other shoe, but they were already all the flowers. Uh, the points, lines, and planes are all in harmony. With every detail being executed flawlessly, everything just looks so much more pleasing. Mm. That was right when he said, there's no trash in this world that can be saved, only resources in the wrong places. Kinos and Paimo, thanks to your hard work, our world has taken another step in the right direction. Uh, we didn't do much. Now that Paimon looks at it, everything sure looks better after we rearrange them. All we did was change things a little around a little. The sense of disarray from before is completely gone. So Paimon thought you you were just a kid who was full of herself. Paimon didn't expect you to actually know a lot about composition framing. Uh, Aren't we buddies who battle against the evil organization together? Such little faith, I'm devastated. Uh, it's not that Paimo doesn't believe in your skill, it's just... Oh, don't be sad. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what now? I really forgot, mom and dad are coming home today. They aren't usually home. Yeah, because mom and dad are amazing, amazing people are always very, very busy. Uh... I'm also very, very busy now, but I'm nowhere near as amazing. When I become a great artist, I can be as unreasonable as I want, just like mom and dad. Uh, what does being amazing have to do with being unreasonable? Because mom and dad always check my homework when they're back, even if when I finished everything. As long as I'm not sitting at my desk, they'll say, Salsa, oh Salsa, you're slacking off again. What are you going to do in the future if you play with brushes and paints all day long? Even though I tell them that I long finish my homework, they will continue nagging. No matter how unreasonable they are, I can't get a word in because they're too brilliant. So I always pretend to be working really hard whenever mom and dad come home, even when I haven't finished my homework. They Then they won't have anything to say. I'm not saying unreasonable things, oh, however, I like when I become as amazing as my parents, or even better than them. This feels kind of wrong somehow. Oh no, I'm running late. I won't make it if I don't go off now. Uh, it was so nice to meet you, Yudas and Paimon. Thanks so much for helping. I gotta go home now.
take care. Be careful not to fall. Doors off her canvas and box of drawing tools. Ah, so it's gonna... She's a little... She's like a little whirlwind. Children these days don't have it easy, huh? Thank goodness Paimon doesn't have homework. Paimon, oh Paimon, you're just lacking off again. No, stop. Uh, Paimon can't hear you. Oh, okay, is that? Uh, view from Mount Auto... Auto back. Alright. Uh, next place she is... Is... Around here. I think I want to... I got the chest to appear. Fury. Oh, uh, I thought I did. Okay. We'll be able to move those now. Well, it's it is a little Miss Pymo. We meet again. Hey Salsa. We were just wondering if you would be around after we saw the canvas. We parted ways in a hurry back then. How have you been? Did you get scolded by your parents when you got home? Yeah, I was studying at my desk when mom and dad came home, so they didn't have an excuse to scold me. Although I wasn't actually studying, I was just putting an, on an act pretending to be studying it was really tiring. I put up my best performance so mom and dad can see through. Well, you can consider acting to be a future career path. I think studying hard is easier than practicing how to act. Oh, but I've decided to become a great artist. Wait, can I become an actress who plays an artist? That doesn't sound right though. But now that I think about it, did mom and dad truly not realize that I was just acting? Or are they just pretending not to know? What a complicated family relationship. I thought long and hard, but I still can't figure things out. I don't have enough observation skills to realize the truth. So I came out to sketch again. I thought that I could practice my observation skills once I found a sketchy place with beautiful view. But it turns out those evil green guys laid their traps here too. Uh, this is so annoying. I don't think those are... Those will be from the institute. Your research and stuff. Uh, how annoying. Even if it's a trap, as long as there are treasure chests, uh, it's not even a real trap. Well, how about rearrange it like last time? We only adjusted the item positions and everything immediately felt right. If Miss Pine was right, we just have to adjust the position and destroy those evil green guys' traps. Now, symmetry has its merits, but symmetry will look better here. One on one side, a tree on the other side, making it look way too unbalanced. Huh. It would be nice to place the Neobosia relays, relay piles on both sides of the road so that everything is symmetrical. Should be simple, you just need to put an extra one on the other side. Can I get any one? Yes, yes. Now the evil traps are all gone. I'm the best. Sure looks better now, but all we did was just change the positions of the items. Uh, it doesn't seem difficult at all. Uh, I wonder why some people arrange things in such a strange way to begin with. And they pick the places with beautiful scenery. Exactly. I wonder if it's because they have a sense of beauty or a lack of it. I wonder if we should get 
gets also to teach the rookie members of the Judges Guild the art of item arrangement. Really, I have so much to tell those members of the evil organization, but they don't really listen to me. Well, did you really go to the Judges Guild to send a complaint? Uh, I talked to Catherine, but she's really strange. All she said was at Astrab Sosk, and she never told me which member was behind this. She tells me at Astrab Sosk too. Maybe they didn't approach this correctly. Uh, but I'm almost pretty sure she says other things. Uh, maybe it's because you're too young, so no one really takes you seriously when you're asked questions or give you opinions. Pebble, does Catherine listen to you? Yes. But I'm so much older than you. You're basically a kid. But I'm not a child. Uh, don't treat me as if I don't know anything. I know a lot. Uh, you say that, but I'm a big girl. Not only do I lo do a lot, I have a lot of things to do. Uh, I have to get home. I really want to play with you and Pyro a little longer, but I have to go now. So she leaves her canvas and small box. She left in a hurry as always. We didn't even say goodbye properly this time. Pyro wonders if we'll meet her again. Okay, next. <laughs> Oh, at the seaside village. Uh, no, that's not there, so let's go here. The wind rises. I'll lead the way. The green screen isn't too good. You miss Pamel, sobs. Hello, Salsa. What's wrong? You're looking really upset. Oh, there are traps laid by the evil green guys here too. No wonder you're in bad mood. Uh, am I going to die soon? Huh? Uh, is it that serious? Does kind of look. Uh, it does look kind of strange, but Pamel doesn't think it's that bad. At least it's not worse than before. Oh no, High Spymo's aesthetic sense be corrupted by the evil organization to the point she can't tell good from bad? No, no, that's not it. It's me. I got a case of obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder? Yeah, I've read about this disease in books, and I can relate to the symptoms. Mom and Dad didn't really take it seriously and told me that you should just stop reading about it. But I can't control myself. When I think about the beautiful scenery that has been destroyed by the, those evil, those ugly things planted by the evil organization, I'm so bothered that I can't eat or sleep at all. If I feel really sick, my goodness, Fontaine's about to lose a great buddy artist. Maybe you should go see a doctor. Yeah, I guess right. Primal thinks best to let medical professionals handle it. The Primal doesn't think so. So this issue is that severe, anyone would be upset to see a beautiful landscape destroyed. Science Femme already knows how to make feel better, we just have to reposition the, those ugly things and make them part of the pre-scenery. The problem will be solved. It's a temporary solution. 
the power solution is through a solution. So let's get started. With Salsa's guidance, we can definitely recreate a lovely view, right? Just like how Titalga doesn't grow on wetter roads, uh, rainbow roses won't thrive on underwater riverbeds either. Objects made of different materials also have environments they are suited to. And crystal devices not go well with muddy ground. So... This would look better, artificially sculpted, less natural environment. Here. Uh, I'm all curved now. This looks so much nicer. You're right, in those final ugly things are bad things, as long as we place them properly. They can become good things. One ugly thing down, another good thing is born. We have moved two steps forward towards a world of beauty. Half the effort, twice the results. I don't think we can count it like this. No, we can. Uh, something feels wrong with this calculation method. Anyway, the three of us are doing great. If we keep this up, all the ugly things will someday be gone from this world. Uh, would it be difficult with just the three of us? Inus has important things to do, and Salsa has homework, right? Um, why do you have to say such discouraging things when everything is going well? Aren't we a team fighting for justice? I finally found something that made me happy, and now I'm sad again. Even you are nagging me to do my homework. I'm going home right now. Bye. Salsa lives in a huff with her canvas and small box. Oh, she's gone in a flash. Look what you've done, Paimon. Paimon didn't want her to get scolded. Paimon didn't say anything too harsh, right? Uh, anyway, Paimon should probably apologize if he ever beats Salsa again. Fountain Hot Spring. Uh, can we enter here? Did I enter here before? Oh, okay, I think it came out from here once, but I didn't really check things up there because of the quest. Uh, next spot. Oh, should be following the road. Squall and Fury! Uh, no, okay, we're following the road here. Too slow. Oh, no, no, this would be another question down there. Uh, so, yeah, kind of following the road, but a bit more ahead. Behold! Quit following me! Oh, I don't really want to shoot. Stop to fight, guys. Uh, here. Uh, uh. Oh, that's your move. Move you. Yeah, uh, the trivial. Hello, it's nice to see you again. Hi, Salsa. Alright, oh, a ball happened last time. I'm not sorry. Are you still angry? Uh, last time? What happened? Uh, I should have brought up a desk topic like homework when you were in a good mood. Oh, that actually, I really forgot about my homework. Huh? When I got home, I realized that I hadn't finished my homework. If it weren't for you, I would have been scolded by mom and dad. And my teacher, too. See, I told you it was for Salsa's sake. Uh, it's all thanks to Paimon's foresight. <laughs> Guess it's a fluke then. It's all thanks to Paimon that everything turned out well, okay? It all worked out. I finished my homework, so mom and dad are pleased, and I didn't have to try so hard to put on an act. Everyone's happy, so this is a perfect ending. I was worried for nothing, what a huge loss. Yep. 
Paimo was so worried about upsetting Salsa, she could barely enjoy her food. Who would have thought that the ever-reliable Salsa would make such a blunder? Uh, that's because I'm still a kid. Isn't it normal for children to be forgetful? Even adults forget about things. Dad also forgot to turn in some paperwork before. Uh, not only was he scolded by mom, but also by the clerk. He ended up being embarrassed for a whole week. It's super terrifying. I'm never going to work at the Fontaine Research Institute. Your parents work there? Yeah, that's why they are always busy and often away from home. But it's better that way. If they were at home every day, I wouldn't be able to go out and sketch so often. I also like the I like the way it is out. My parents' work is fulfilling and so is my work. To work? You mean homework? Of course not. Look, there's a trap left by the evil organization here. Our job is to clear the traps, remember? Ah, the traps. Then you wouldn't be too hard since you've done the same thing many times before. Uh, use less help sauce again this time. If put it in the right place, you'll be a decoration. But if you put it in the wrong place, it's basically a dungeon. Uh, they place it right in the middle of the road. What an evil trap. The way I see it, it's not the centerpiece, so it shouldn't be in the middle at all. Uh, you know, never mind whether the picture will look nicer. Uh, or in the directions would. Okay, just take away from the road. This looks much so much better. This is a construction project, right? Just like how they rebuilt the Fontaine Research Institute and restored the ruins to its original state. Uh, is that is that rebuilt? I didn't check. Are those things floating? For construction project? Yeah, mom said the central laboratory was uh, a really pretty building before it flew up into the sky, unlike now. But some felt that the lab in the sky is more beautiful than it was before. That's why the Fontaine Research Institute is considering launching a ruins tour for outsiders. Don't tell anyone, but I've been to the ruins near Fontaine Research Institute. That's when I heard about the ruins tour. Two adults were arguing over whether to leave the ruins as they are. They were. One of them said that if you were an order building, people wouldn't be interested in it, because Fontaine has so much beautiful architecture. But if it were ruins, people would find it novel. So, uh, if they were to use ruins as a selling point, they would be able to attract many visitors. And if the Fontaine Research Institute, financial problems would be solved. So point, financial problems. Mom said that the financial problems made it even harder to apply for funding. I still think that former Fontaine Research Institute is prettier, it looks exactly like the one in the drawings. The lamp in the sky now looks just like a trap laid by the evil organization. Its elements are all there, but the way it's arranged is wrong. So the way it looks is wrong too. Uh, Paimon doesn't really understand, but everything looks pretty good after we rearranged them according to your suggestions. Uh, is this what they call artistic talent? You're only saying this now? I told you, I'm a great buddy artist. Yay, oh hey, the great artist. Don't forget about us when you're famous. Of course I won't. English and Pamus are my buddies of justice. Use my relaxing time with Salsa. Uh, when it's time to leave, you say your goodbyes and Salsa skips away merrily with her canvas and small box. Uh, morning in the Bear Mountains, clear weather. I think there's only one more. Uh, 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 no, maybe two more. Ah, uh, hang on. No, this. Ah, this. The one here is after I complete the other. Uh, yes, that's kind of close. And in between here and the 
other teleport. Huh. Yeah. Quit following me. The wind rises. I think it did a bit wrong, but it worked. Uh, Ignus Lube Spymo, hello there. Hello, Salsa, are you alright? You don't look too good. You think there's an end to time? Why are you asking such deep questions out of the blue? Just wondered if there would be an end to the days of fighting the evil organization. All I want to do is play and chat with you while we enjoy this beautiful scenery. But every time we meet, ugly things will appear and get in our way, and we end up having to spend a lot of time trying to restart the view. Don't you have anything to say about this fate uh, that has befallen us? Can this be called fate? It just seems like coincidence. If there's something that stands out in a place with beautiful view, people will come to see it out of curiosity. What do you think? I think a bit a little tired. Nothing matters except for treasure chests. You're going to miss out on the scenery along the way. As long as you have an eye for the beauty, there is actually amazing scenery everywhere. Do not admire the view elsewhere and ignore these ugly things. Paimo, you're avoiding the issue. Running away is not going to solve the problem. Oh yes, since you are members of the evil organization, have you gathered any inside news? Uh, that's going to be a bit difficult if it's just the two of us. But we can we solve the problem right here, right away? Uh, come on, let's get rid of the evil trap. Alright then. Though, uh, just like symmetry, irregularities can also be a style. Well, the rest of the windmills are in the flower bushes except for uh, this unsociable one. Let's place it in the bush too. Ah, this one. And we're done, but evil forces are everywhere, and there's traps laid by them all over the place. There's no way the three of us will be enough. There's nothing we can do about can do but accept the reality. Let's destroy all of this. You try to make the trap disappear by your range of things, right? You're not really going to destroy them all, are you? Unfortunately, there aren't many people with a sense of beauty and the urge to take action like me. If there were a hundred salsas, Fontaine would surely be a more beautiful country. Why don't you paint the clockwork mecha so they, that they look like salsa? I think they'll end up becoming another evil trap. No. Uh, that's going to be scary. If there were more people like Indus and Paimon who are willing to contribute to the cause of justice, I'm sure things would be better than they are now. Uh, why don't you ask other people too? If you ask your parents, you might be able to submit a request to the Adventures Guild. Uh, wouldn't that mean I will have to join those evil guys? No way. So, so I have forgotten that it is also sort of an adventure. It's also sort of from the adventure skilled. Sort of. I thought I was a regular member. You guys are different because you're my friends who abandoned evil ways and decided to fight for justice. But you're right, I definitely need other helpers. I have to find artists who have a sense of beauty and are willing to take action like me, so that we can form an alliance. For the future of Fontaine and the future of this land, we will stand against the evil organization that destroys the scenery. Yes, that's right. Inus, Paimo are members one and two of the alliance of artists 
who to overthrow the evil organization to protect the future of Fontaine. Alliance of Arts to overthrow the evil organization to protect the future of Fontaine. What do you think? It's a super cool name, right? Okay, but with her members number one and two, then what about you, Salsa? I'm the founder, so of course I'm number zero. Oh, the more I think about it, the more excited I am. I have so much work to do, I can't wait. The future of this world depends on us. This does not like a job worth devoting your life to, but five of things there are a lot of things that you haven't figured out. Well, never mind, as long as also is happy, we're doing good things in a way. Mm -hmm. We are fighting for a good cause, that's why I have to go find more like-minded companions right now. There's no time to waste. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, the best salsa. Hopefully, we'll meet again. Goodbye, number zero. Good luck, salsa. You got this. Bye bye, number one and two. I hope uh, to see you again in a more beautiful fountain. Okay, now she should show up at the other spot. Memories of Mount Esus. Following me. Behold. Wait, uh, there is there order? There usually is no order. Uh. Oh, I do notice. Uh, everything at the same time. Mm, Paimon can understand how these objects look somehow. It reminds Paimon of those ugly things you saw last time. Why is there a Hydra monument burned underground? Paimon doesn't get it. It does should we rearrange it, just like how Sasa taught us. Should take, it takes some effort, sure, but... Burn deeply. What are you doing? That can be right. Uh, I could burn them all and hide them. Wait. Yeah, this looks so much better. Salsa would be proud of us if she saw this. Don't you think so, Traveler? Uh, robbers! A robbery in broad daylight. We didn't take anything away. What? Robbers? Where? Talking about you too. Not only did you destroy my masterpiece, you even took the chest. Was the chest supposed to be taken? So it really was the work of an adventurer skilled member. Wait, is the evil green guy? What, what work on earth? I should be asking you guys about what you did. So these ugly things are your masterpieces? The audacity. What do you mean, ugly things? Have you heard of installation art? Looks like Fontaine's art education is still a long way to go. Uh, but you two don't look like you're from Fontaine. That's because we're not from Fontaine. Paimon's Paimon and his Anus, we are also members of the Adventures Guild. We are members of the Nimbo organization. Uh, hello there, buddy. That doesn't think you can call someone buddy when you don't even know their name. I'm Ubu. An uh, adventure and installation artist. Seeing how you guys are making zero sense, I'm guessing you are often up to crazy shenanigans. I won't pursue this matter this time. Uh, actually, what? I need to restart the work, so if you want to say thank you, do it quickly. I have nothing to thank you for, but I sure have a million things I want to yell at you for. Salsa. With me around, you don't have to be scared, Paimon. Evil green guy, we have destroyed all the traps laid by you. Stop trying to ruin our beautiful fountain with your sinister traps. Ruin? Wait, destroyed all? You destroyed all of our artworks. 
And we didn't exactly destroy them, we just rearranged them to suit the surrounding scenery. You, you brats simply beings, how could you hope to understand art? To turn my installation art, my work into something so mediocre and mundane. Uh, but is it really art? Pamela doesn't know much about it, but can you really call something that looks so out of place art? Of course, the boundaries of art are set by the artist. A work created by the artist is naturally called a work of art. Who's the artist? It is I, Ubu, the extraordinary installation artist. In that case, as a founder of the Alliance of Artists to overthrow the evil organization and protect the future of Fontaine, I declare that I do not recognize it as art. Overthrow the... Uh, what? Overthrow the evil organization. Basically, we have to take you down. The first one adventures guild that is running the scenery with uh, installation art. What a joke, I've never heard of such a lies. Kid, what gives you the right to say that my work is an art? I'm a painter, so you could say I'm an artist. Of course I'm qualified. Uh, look kid, being an artist isn't some child's play. You can't say you're an artist just because you want to become one. You gotta have works that are recognized by people. And what makes you qualified? Your works and installation art you speak of. Those evil traps, do people clap when they see them? That's because there are too many plebeians who can't comprehend the charm of my works. True art is always the least understood. You could start by making art that people can actually understand. Simply put, no one understands it at all. Which sounds like failure. No, it can't be. My works are perfect. There is absolutely nothing wrong with them. You guys just don't understand. People just don't understand. Darn it, I'm not giving up. This isn't over. Ubu stumbles away. What a stubborn enemy. But I'm not giving up either. The future of Fontaine's arts rests on my shoulders. We have a goal to work towards. Uh, is this a good thing? It probably is, right? It didn't quite aim then. Hello, Inus Paimo. Do you manage to recruit new members for the Alliance? Found uh, prospective members who are willing to participate, but I need to carry out a rigorous assessment to make sure they have the right qualifications. After all, Fontaine's future is at stake. Uh, now rushing home today. I finished my homework, so I thought I'd hang around a little longer before heading home. Okay, so this one's finished. Uh, uh. Let's check the quest here. There's a continuation to Virgil's quest. Uh, now, this is a most serendipitous meeting. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Luca? Who are you? Apologies. Look at me. Beginning a conversation without even introducing myself. I am Sonny, the one they sometimes call the White Glove. My friend here is Luca the Fisherman. He's pretty f famous in certain circles. Now, hello, Pamo is. It's most alright, I know that you are Paimon, and this blonde traveler is Ignus. Okay. You know us already? But of course, it's just that before today, my knowledge of you was much like my knowledge of the Chief Justice. In other words, I knew of you, but did not know you, but you did not know of me. With your fame and accomplishments, it is only natural that news of your arrival will reach us as soon as you stepped foot on Evil Tain. Where the famous? Now, oh, you are too humble? How should I put it? Uh, certain people, your, to certain people, your arrival in Fontaine will be as if someone had just set off a bomb at the stage of the Opera Epicles. Of course, I mean this... Uh, in all the most positive way. Don't you agree, my dear Luca? Uh, but how can a bomb going off ever be a good thing? 
I'm not very good with words. Uh, how would you put it, my dear Luca? Little Matt's magic show. Blessing everything wide open to accomplish the impossible. Spine tingling experience. Precisely. See? I oh, had ever thought to put it like that. If you say so. Or are you called the white glove, though? Paimon doesn't see a glove at all. Oh, no, that's a hard question. How should I explain? Imagine, if you will, that you are wearing a white glove. If something dirty were to get on your hand, then a mark would be left on the glove. My duty would be to find the dark mark and remove it from view. Okay, now you're even shadier. So something like a cleaner. Exactly, my dear Pyro. See, I was never able to so succinctly summarize the nature of my work. Uh, so people like you are the reason why the streets of the Court of Fontaine are always so well kept and tidy. Uh, that's what, what I like to hear. Yes, you may understand it like that. Okay, that makes sense, Paimon. But why would a cleaner be a knife? Uh, you may think of it as a small tool of the trade that we bring out when we are, when there are marks that are particularly hard to remove. Got it? Thanks. So, is your friend Luca here, Luca the fisherman, because he's really good at fishing? Uh, that's only part of the story, I'm afraid. See, there are many kind of fish in Fontaine as well. And Luca here is really experienced at teaching people to spend some quality time with all the different kind of fish. Kinds of fish. Am I right, my dear Luca? Uh, Fabio doesn't get it. If that's the case, then I must say, dear Paimo, that you are really, that you really got a knack for asking the most difficult and fascinating questions. It would be most wonderful if you could have a long conversation where I could be able to answer everything to your full satisfaction. It, Paimo, it's okay. Stop asking. Anything we can help with? Uh, all right then, Sony and Luca, is there something you'd like to ask us? You see, we are extremely intrigued by the practice of diving. Fontaine's waters are full of priceless treasures, left by nature to and our ancestors alike. We heard that you have made a good friend recently and even went for a dive with you. Your powers are such that you didn't even need to use any diving equipment. Is that right? Isn't that right, Major Luca? Uh, you want to ask about Virgil? Yes, you want to ask about Virgil? Virgil, the liar and traitor. Uh, just remembering him makes my mom mad. You recount your experience with Virgil to Sonny, the White Glove, and Luca, the Fisherman. I see, I see. Thank you for telling us all this. You're welcome. Mm, Paimon hasn't forgotten a single thing about that guy. We are, of course, exceedingly grateful that you were willing to share the whole story with us. However, from my own perspective, I am even more relieved that you do not consider Virgil to be a friend. If that hadn't been the case, uh, maybe I can put it like this. Had you seen him as a friend, things would have become quite awkward for both of us. Isn't that right, my dear Luca? I would have to be Luca up. Uh, I, it could make things difficult. I agree, I agree. Thanks so much. What are you talking about? The virgin's enemies. Ah. Your words wound me, my dear sir. I have many friends and not a single enemy. Virgil is just one of my many friends. And uh, speaking of dear Virgil, I think it's about time that we have a serious talk with him. Surely you understand what I mean, dear Ignis? Of course, this is also so that we can get back at him for what he's done to you. It's the least we can do for other guests, don't you think? Uh, Paimon's lost. He's the white glove, that's all you have to know. It's okay to not understand everything, Paimon. Mm, okay. We've already found the stronghold of Virgil and the rest of his friends. Why don't we meet up there? Why do we also need to go? My good sir, with how much Virgil has wronged you, we cannot possibly have 
our conversation with him without informing you of our plans beforehand. See, Luke agrees as well. Mm, Pam wants to talk to Virgil too. He has to make a formal apology to us. Uh, you are too kind, then let's meet up at our destination. Oh, so you were going to fast travel me there. No, hang on. Where, where is it? That, that there is the main quest. A Fontaine message. <laughs> a Sicilian message. Okay. Ah, I've been to that place. Oh yeah, he's Sony. Uh, dear Paimon, am I good, sir? Uh, this is the stronghold that Virgil has been using as of late. I swear, why is Virgil still not back yet? If he's just gonna keep us waiting, I might not be able to hold myself back from this shipment of synth. Hey, cut it out. That shipment took us an arm and a leg to get. Virgil will have no mercy for you if we if you you were to just take it without his permission what a pity it will seem that our my dear friend virgil hasn't returned to the stronghold yet we can still have a chat with these guys however uh, but doesn't it doesn't look like they are in the mood for a chat but i think they may change their minds soon enough what do you think my dear luca no problem i'm oh, sure there's no problem that there'd be no problem. But I think they'll probably just try to beat you up. Oh no, you're too considerate, dear Pai. Well, something like that would be most unfortunate indeed. For them, of course. One with the oh force. yeah, I know it's a joke. Show me anymore. No, the fisherman. What is the fisherman doing here? So you the right glove fish. Oh. Huh? Ah, you're right. Subject. Behold! Oh, he's the prize! No, I didn't pay attention for my health. I don't know if it was actually decent or not. Please let me explain, this is all misunderstanding. No, you were pretty clear to me. Mr. Sonny, you see, we only got into this business because we heard there was more to be made. And since the higher ups didn't agree, we figured we figured we could just earn the money first and then turn all the profits over. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, he's totally ignoring Paimo. I have no complaints against the organization, none at all. Alright, I was also tricked by these crooks. That's the only reason at all why I did something so foolish. Didn't we just beat him up? Shouldn't he be a bit afraid of us as well? Impressive, very impressive. You know, you are every inch as strong as the stories have made you out to be. Don't you agree, my dear Luca? Super strong, incredibly formidable. Please, if you still remember anything about the time we spent together, Mr. Sony, Mr. Luca, there's a dog here. I didn't notice it. Uh, please, please no. 
Luca, our guests are still here. Let's not do anything discourteous uh, that might bring down their mood. Understood. Mm. See the errors of your ways now, Virgil? Uh, it was my fault. It was all my fault. Please, have mercy. Okay, at least you have admitted that you will... Uh, what I have done is something wrong. Now make sure you don't do, you won't do it again. My dear Virgil, I'll never do something like that again. Paimon, Yunus, I can promise you that on the honor of Sonny, the white glove, as well as that of my father and son. Uh, let's go, Paimon. What are you going to do now? Life can often become extremely boring when you understand everything in this world. Is that right, my good sir? And if you must know, we will have a long and very serious chat with him. We will not take any more of your time, however. Uh, thanks so much, Sonny and Luca. Seems that they are more good than bad people in Fontaine, after all. Uh, farewell, dear Paimon, and my good sir. I hope there will be a day when we'll be able to work together again. Uh. Uh, come on, one, two. No, I'm probably gonna just gonna go to a statue of the seven. Alright, my dear video, you just you really put us through a lot of trouble. Now then, what should we do with you? Sorry, this won't do. This won't do at all. You know full well that time flies, and it is now too late for you to turn back. Our organization has a justice code all on our own, and one of our most important rules is that there are some traits that you just never do. But, but Mr. Sonny, please just listen to me. The profit margin on this is just... Uh, not this again, more, more, more. Is there anything you care about other than more? What about your pride as a citizen of Fontaine? What about your conscience as you watch your, our countrymen turn into husks of themselves from the string? Ah. Oh, how shocking. Even Luca is showing intense emotion in response to your words. Uh, you see, my dear Virgil, you've truly accomplished the impossible. Mr. Sonny, I, please believe me. It's all because of what those guys said. They lied to me. I would not have done anything if not for... Silence, you worthless dross. Uh, you're exactly the kind of low life I've got no time for. Even now, you're still trying to lie to me. Uh, are you behind dumb or do you think I'm dumb? Not so talkative now, are you? You even tried to hurt Enos. Did you have even the faintest inkling of who you were asked to deal with? Do you think that he could have trained someone as cru he could have trained someone as cool as you. I've really got to, uh, got to have a good conversation with him. But that will not be something you need to worry about, my dear Virgil. He'll try to deal with me. Should you be talking loud like that so close to me? Just that and it's done. Hmm... Yeah, uh, it was just an egg, so that's fine. But there is not a quest next to this statue, so let's heal him here. This one, now I'm not sure how long this will take. Hmm, I'm not even sure where. It would be. Mm. Questionnaire. What is a questionnaire? Yo. I just can't believe it. Would someone really take a camera into the Maison question itself and simply strut about taking pictures of everyone and everything? It is ridiculous. Everyone knows, everyone should know that. That is how secrets get leaked. It is common sense. Uh, if common sense was common, Mr. Young, then the Mason guest show could simply disband tomorrow. I shall leave this to you. 
Have them sign the document, just like I taught you, and return it to me before the weekend. I still have to handle the expenses, the expense receipts. Car six keeps hassling me about it. But Mr. Royal, Royal, uh, just who should I be looking for? We don't have enough specifically in charge of cameras. Uh, I trust your judgment. Now hurry up and take care of this, so we can each really enjoy the weekend. I'm going to take care of other things. Up to it, kid. Yes, sir, Miss Royalty. Royalty leaves a leisurely man manner. Yes, sir, Miss Royalty. What are you doing? Oh, hello, hello. Uh, it looks though you are not a member of the staff here at the Maison Gestion. I am currently busy with official business. Should you have any inquiries, please ask Miss Cornelia. She is right over there. She will provide you with a chair and a cup of tea. Please have a seat and I will come find you after I'm done. Uh, what's the big rush? It's, it's actually a simple matter, but dealing with it is quite complicated. The office of working has received a notice instructing us to draft a letter to the other offices. The content was something like Staff are forbidden from bringing cameras into the Mason guest shop and taking pictures, except for work purposes, in order to avoid leakage of secret information. Does telling me about the letter's contents constitute leaking secrets? No, certainly not. If anyone really had used a camera to take a photo of documents and it resulted in a leak, then this would certainly be a confidential matter. However, Maybe someone will use a camera to take pictures of documents in order to leak them. It's not a secret. After all, that's a possibility that everyone is aware of. I feel dizzy. Uh, think about it this way. If you are guarding a secret, then the secret you are guarding certainly cannot be revealed. But the fact that you are guarding a secret itself may not be considered a secret. After all, if even the fact that you are guarding a secret is considered a secret, then you fall into an endless cycle of keeping the secret of keeping secrets. Your wording is an endless cycle. I'm curious who is in charge of this matter. Then who is responsible for this? That is where the matter becomes complicated. There is no office in the entire Maison Gestion that is directly charged with managing cameras. Mr. Smain says that I should ask Mr. Gatineo. Gatineo. Uh, their work is related to confidential matters, and thus they should be the first to be made aware. But Mr. Royalty says that I should ask T4. I4? T4. Uh, as he is in charge of all matters related to the staff of the Maison Gestion. We were we to make a new rule that all staff of the Maison Gestion cannot bring cameras to work, we have to let them know. Wow, that's complicated. Why are there so many different people responsible for different things? What happens if you can remember? That's why each of us carries a thick notepad. So even with the notes, I'm still not sure who should I look for now. This is a confidential matter, let's look for Gatineo. This is a matter of both personal, let's look for D4. Confidential matter. That's exactly what I thought. Mr. Gatineo is quite affable. Uh, it is also an exemplary gestionnaire. Even though all matters he deals with are of utmost importance, he still handles each matter with aplomb. Uh, his work can truly be called outstanding. Well, I guess you get to see it for yourselves. Please, this way. Well, this isn't our job, really. We basically just gave you a suggestion on where to start. A certain notice. Uh, uh, Yon, uh, what are the odds? Do you finally have time for a cup of coffee with me after work? Thank you for your offer, but I have a confidential matter that requires your attention. Confidential matter? Is this something I know about? I think you may not have been informed yet. I only received the document this morning. 
Now that's odd, perhaps the information is a step behind your since I haven't had a chance to read the Steam Bird yet today. Uh, but it's confidential matter, why would you read about it in the Steam Bird? Uh, those reports get information is spread far faster than our internal memos here at the Maison Gesture can. Of course it's understandable, after all, they get paid when they deliver a message. Clement doesn't get it at all. Let's not talk about it for now, sir, it's like this. You want to explain the situation in detail? Huh, that's right, such an announcement is absol absolutely necessary. This already happened, so glittering idiot wanted to show off his desk layout, and he took a picture of it. He's a member of the camera club, and he showed, it, showed a photo to the other members of the club. But one of the members of said club just happened to be an asset reporter. Who quickly noticed a document that looked like an internal memo in the picture. And guess what happened next? The next day, the best memo complaining that only fish get served for dinner here, day in, day out, was all over the steam bird. Okay, that, that was... that was mild. Uh, does that count as secret? It doesn't sound very serious, but yeah. Uh, it's the principle of the stuff here. Whatever it is, this internal information it should not be leaked to any outside part parties. The people of the Court of Montaigne never miss an opportunity to mock and deride the major question. Why? And we must act with caution. As if they actually gave two figs about what we actually do here. All they want to do is uh, have a laugh. Anyway, I'll leave this to your office to take care of them, but this, a medical, this matter concerns new rules of personal. Tifors is the one who, who should sign off on this. After all, in this document, though it reminds everyone of the importance of keeping confidential information secret, the more important thing is how to communicate these principles to them. If you ask me, it must be Tifors that takes care of this, our office will certainly assist in this matter. This will be more efficient, and confidentiality, confidentiality can be maintained. Catinio swiftly signs his name in the dot line. Uh, but Mr. Catinio, this matter... Come on, boy. I, you can dawdle about. Uh, this must be taken care of. Now go find Differ quickly, before his patient is worn thin by other matters. Now I'll go... Uh, find some documents that talk about the principles of projecting secret information, protecting secret information. When the document is ready to be officially promo promulgated, uh, our office provide our full support. Go find him, kid. I've got to go. Uh, I think to other matters. Gatinho strides off. What, well, Mr. Gatinho? Wait. He left, he possibly fled. There, uh, did you see Mr. Gatino's billets? His secret to get everything done is so well, is avoiding doing anything at all that carries even the modicum of risk. Uh, so it's the ability to shirk your duties. There's nothing we can do now except go find D4 this way, please. Mm. Oh, still here. Um, do you have some for me, y'all? Uh, do you seem to be out of breath? It's like this, Mr. D4. Y'all explain the situation in detail. They come to the wrong person, y'all. This document clearly has the subject of secrets. How could you fail to realize something so simple and obvious? I thought this subject was this document. Grammatically speaking, that's correct. Uh, that's not the subject right now either. Your exactness is noted and appreciated, but I will not sign this document no matter what. I will not even entertain the thought. It should be Gatinho who leads this matter. Mr. Gatinho said, uh, you should be the one in charge. Uh, me? And how should I do it? Grab a megaphone and stand at the door, shouting at everyone as they come in to work. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't bring your camera to work. You'll leak all kinds of secrets, that would be bad. So, don't. Or maybe print up a few hundred documents and leave them on the desks of every 
questionnaire so they can take them with them as they go gather coffee. That sounds nice. They don't have email, so... You think you are like a Tino? You just grab liquors and teach them a lesson? All we can do is send out notices, the kind nobody takes notice of. Yeah, Katinio seemed pretty upset about the, the memo that got leaked. Shouldn't he be worried about this situation as well? But he's already signed the document. Look here. Boy, do you have any clue what co-organizer means? Mm, the one who follows instructions from the other party? It means at least I'm not responsible for this. I categori categorically categorically and completely refuse to sign this document if it must be my office that is forced to take charge of this then let Manival come down and tell me so in person before charges out in rage so why was this on Yon's hand he's so loud Paimon didn't even dare to speak as I said he has quite a temper so what do we do now don't worry, let's just go back and look for Mr. Royalty. Uh, this is a confidential matter. As such, it falls under your office's jurisdiction. Well, in that case, can we keep affairs we handle confidential from you in the future, even on personal related matters? Hey, those are two different things. Quit shifting the goalposts. Well, it's certainly not up to us to decide whether or not they are the same thing. It looks like I messed things up again. Scary, they are arguing. Uh, you know, how, how about we get out of here? I do sorry, scary. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. There's no need to be upset over such a trifling matter. There's no trifling matter, Royalty. Uh, this is a matter of grave importance that impacts the entire Maison Gestion. I do not act rashly and decide it on my own. Uh, so it is. There's nothing trivial at all about protecting our secrets. I don't think there is anyone in the whole Maison Gestion more suited to handling this matter than you. Please relax. I must you gentlemen argue about who is in charge. As a seat, there's no need for anyone to be primarily responsible. You don't even need to coordinate. What? Huh? I fear I don't understand your meaning, Royalty. I don't quite follow your train of thought, Royalty. The two are both gentlemen with a wealth of experience. And know that when dealing with something complicated, you must first divide it into simple things. The responsibility of preventing people from leaking secrets using cameras should logically fall to Gatinho. But you need not do anything extra, just continue catching leakers as before. As for informing everyone of the policy that cameras can be brought to the Maison Gestion, this trouble task must fall to differ. Nobody else in the Maison Gestion can clarify the new policy to the staff. I have no capability to force it. Nobody listens to us. You don't have to force it. The other guy will force it. You don't need to worry about that. Leave enforcement to continue. What you need to do is not notify, but propose. The bigger you preach the proposal, the better. Put it at the entrance and be sure to print the case of the last camera leak below it. That should be enough. It sounds exactly like before. Don't get it. How is this different from before? Understand, Mr. Roth, this way, I agree with this proposal. Excellent. It's very clean and clear. What? Proposal? Huh, that's easy. Then we have reached an accord. After you all rewrite the draft, I'll bring it to both of you to look over. Now, let's each get back to work. Continuing for a look at each other for a moment. Then... Uh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Royalty. I really messed this up. Don't blame yourself, Yon. It's not your fault. At least, not completely. Why they suddenly accept your idea? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's right. Why they suddenly stop arguing? They look like they were about to start a brawl. That's because you don't know what those two gentlemen truly care about. 
Do you think they simply don't want to take on extra, extra work? Of course not. They simply didn't want any other offices to get involved with their work, especially when they themselves would be held responsible. As long as they understand this, it is easy to remove the source of their discontent. And then they are quite willing to do their work. But in your proposal, they still have to take the responsibility. The team and the four are both experienced bureaucrats. And they, they are both painfully aware of some simple truth. In a large organization, such as the Mason Gaston, everyone has to take some responsibility. That's the only way to make sure everything continues to operate smoothly. You can negotiate the size of the responsibility, but everyone must take part. If everyone refuses to do so, well, then they have best pray they never run into any trouble. Don't think too much on it, y'all. You hope to understand all this someday. Right now, the important thing is to go rewrite your proposal and bring it to me. Got it? Yes, Mr. Royalty. Royalty lives in a hurry. Uh, it looks like another all-nighter. I should grab a coffee first. You always stay up so late. Your health is important, sure. I want to say always, but I guess I'm just used to it. Regardless, it's all good as long as I get my work done. Sometimes I wonder if there's a point to all the work, this work I do. I type, produce documents, chat, and run errands, day in, day out. As an objective observer in the water of thought, I'm not sure just yet. Further observation requires, citizen. Fine, perhaps you can give me an answer after you've observed a bit more. If you're interested, come tomorrow. We can talk again then. As a questionnaire here at the Maison Gestion, I've been drawing in a sea of work. Perhaps you could tell me, as an objective observer, what's the point of it all? Can I just wait? It's pretty complicated work. Okay, wait until calling more. Uh, after eight. Oh, traveler, it's nice to see you. How are you doing? You don't look so good. Uh, you have bags under your eyes and it seems like you can barely speak. You should take a break. I can rest. I stayed up all night last night writing drafts, but none were good enough. Time for yet another rewrite. If you have any official business you require my assistance with, please wait a moment. You can pull up a chair near Mr. Royalt. Perhaps he even has coffee. I must get back to working. Uh, no use in too many dear colleagues. To my dear colleagues. It's certainly not formal enough. Mm, traveler, good to see you. You'll come back for another visit. Coffee. Not that I mention it. Did you ever had coffee? Why were none of you surprised to see me here before? Yeah, Paimon wanted to ask too, but, uh, but those guys were so loud and Paimon didn't dare talk about anything else. And I thought I was going to be kicked out. Huh, <laughs> no need to worry. The guards let you in, so why would we take it upon ourselves to chase you out? Same. Uh, this is also an example of clear delegation of authority and responsibility. Hello, traveler. I am Semaine. It is a pleasure to meet you. Then you are. Semaine used to work in the courts as an assistant secretary. Due to some rather messy circumstances, he was transferred. He was transferred back to the Maison Gestion. Using his logical and precise deductions, we were able to find solutions to many previous interest, intractable problems. Please, that's a bit much. I merely transferred over my previous work experience and used the value of certain things to infer the importance of matters related to them. Thus, in practice, though in practice, countless matters that cannot be precisely measured will crop up in the course of work. But in these cases, applying royalties well-developed axioms of human interaction is of great assistance. And that means what now? 
Simply put, when dealing with works, a man is quite skilled in considering all sides of their state. They make everyone feel like they are important. It's like balance scales. And if the balancing act is simply impossible, then I can tip the scales with the weight of words. Yon sure seems to be working hard. Can you help him? Yeah, it seems like he's about to pass out. Uh, this is a path we all must walk sooner or later. Should I help Yon write the document, he will not remember his lesson. His head and heart are filled with idealistic fantasies about what working in the Maison Gestion is. But fantasies are for the young, not for Gestioners. And I simply don't know how to write those documents. They're quite direct. Uh, Alright, so what business bring you here? Tell me. Uh, and I'll see if I can. Yon suddenly runs over in a panic. Oh, it's always doing ruin. Mr. Royalty, do you have a spare keycap? for the typewriter. As I was typing, suddenly discovered that a keycap was missing, and I have no idea when it could have. Did you already have a look nearby? Maybe it just fell off to the ground. Or maybe it's stuck in a book or sandwiched between documents. Did you already check those possibilities? Or maybe it's a pen holder, or your sleeve, or your hair, or in your teacup. I've looked everywhere, even my pockets and my shoe bottles. I've searched all over and it's nowhere to be found. Very well, then you should go ask Cornelia. If we have if we do have spares for this for things like keycaps, then she's the one you need to file a request with. Should I I should just go by one myself. It shouldn't take a stale long to long at all to make a keycap. My dear y'all, do you really want to spend your own money? The typewriter and its keycaps are public property, and the property of the Maison Gestion. Uh, filling an application with Cornelia is a proper procedure. Uh, it really doesn't cost much at all. It's not a matter of how much, this is another matter of authority and responsibility. Repairing the public property of the Maison Gestion should be paid for by the public accounts of the Maison Gestion. If you pay for this with your private funds and do not file a claim for reimbursement, then when expenses are audited at the end of the year, it will be unclear where the money came from. Uh, he's... He, no, no, I understand that, but nobody will know that he replaced if it is a claim for the reimbursement. Fine, fine, I'll go find Cornelia right now. Even buying something such a pain? Is even paying for things this annoying? This is actually quite normal around here. At least this way. Let's go find Cornelia. <laughs> hello, Mr. Young. May I help you? Uh, hello to you, Miss Cornelia. Uh, do you have any spare keycaps for our typewriter? Excuse me? My typewriter is missing a keycap, so I would like to apply for a replacement. If there isn't one in stock, I would also, it would also work if you could reimburse the purchase of a new one. Expensing a keycap? Uh, that shouldn't be a problem, in principle. Sign on me here, please. Just write requesting reimbursement for a replacement keycap to typewriter malfunction and then sign your name in offs well well i can get the keycap today right i really need to get back to work mr young have you ever applied for reimbursement for the purchase of public property before being reimbursed for work expenses is not at all like you imagine you don't simply buy something and reimburse it we need to compile all the reimbursement receipts and documents on a monthly basis create summary reports, and then submit everything to the Mason card analysis for approval at the end of the month. This approval process is related to the approval and payment of salaries for the entire Mason question. If the amount expense is too late, then Mason card analysis will even need to submit it to Monster Novelet himself for approval. 
Payments can only be officially sent after the review is complete and everything is signed. If he has any questions about a certain space report, the staff member in question must submit a written report. We are just preparing to submit our first batch of reports, which we shall do sometime in the next few days. You mean, if I'm unfortunate enough, then I might require most enough let himself to sign off on the keycap reimbursement. Such are the rules, Mr. Yon, and since the total expenses for this month are large indeed, he may be very well be required to audit the reports. Monsieur Novelet, wait, isn't that your Chief Justice? But if it's just a keycap, and we are making him sign for it, it doesn't just doesn't feel right. Isn't there some other way? Let's try something else. I think so too, after all, it's only a keycap. If you don't trouble him with it, and that is true, there are other ways. Yes, you could go buy a keycap yourself first, then I can provide you an official acknowledgement of debt in the public accounts. After all the reimbursements have been processed and the payment process completed, the amount owned will be paid to you directly for the pur public purse. Excellent, then let's do that. After all, a keycap doesn't cost much, I can pay for it. Then please sign here, and you should still write requesting reimbursement for a replacement keycap due to type right function. Are you going to purchase a replacement for Mrs. Tell? Yes, indeed. Is there anything wrong? Then I will take the IOU to Mr. Royal for him to sign, and then take it to Mrs. Tell to verify the purchase amount. But you don't need to worry about that. Just hurry and buy your keycap. I'll take care of the rest. Thanks so much. You really are the best, Miss Cornelia. I'll go and buy it right now. Come on, traveler. It's time to leave. That was convoluted. Quit following me. Uh, Yon, what is it? You seem to be out of breath. So, please, I need a keycap for typewriter. You should have something here, right? Of course, but typewriters have so many different keys. Take a look and see which one you need a keycap for. Yon starts to rummage around, search for the keycap he needs, line speed. This one, this is it. Here's the money, thank you, Stel. Last time you said you'd like to go body with me. Yon, hey, Yon. Oh, what's he so busy with anyway? He really is. And I didn't speak to other people again. Three. Slow. Great, now we can finally continue working. This proposal must be finished today. Thanks so much. When I have time, I'll certainly treat you to one excellent meal. Are you free tomorrow? Come find me here if you got time. Wait for me to finish work. Uh, we can all go eat a tasty meal. Then I'll be waiting. Finish your work first. You're right. I must work faster. Wait, what's the next sentence? I should have written everything down. So, I wait again. Hey, hang on. Uh, we're going for morning. Okay. I was under the impression it would be dinner. Yawn, are done writing. Yawn, oh, oh, what? Yes, yes, I finished, I finished writing. It's me, did you finish writing it? Oh, it's you, I must have fallen asleep, sorry. Mr. Royalty, Mr. Semaine, uh, stay with me half the night. 
Uh, with their guidance, I finally managed to finish the proposal. But I was just so tired, I thought I'd just close my eyes for a bit. I never thought I'd sleep until now. I need to go find Mr. Taos first and have him stamp this proposal with the official seal of the Maison Gaston. And then take the proposal to Mr. Defoe and his for his time and then we can begin officially printing it. And then we'll be done with this. Sounds simple enough. At least not as complicated as before. Yes, in any case, I've heard that Mr. Talos has introduced a brand new type of machine for fixing stamps. They say that it's convenient and made with confidentiality in mind, and that they plan to use it throughout the entire Mason Gaston. Take a look, Mr. Royalty even gave me the key. Every department must use this key to activate the stamping machine. Anyway, uh, it all sounds pretty formal and official. Why don't take another map? It looks like he can barely walk straight. Anyway, it's just getting a document stamped, and there's that stamping machine to do it. There's no need to rush. No, we cannot afford any more delays. Let us go right away. Like you said, it's only a stamp. It shouldn't take too much time. And I think it will. Can I get my document stamped now? Yes, of course you can. Did you bring the key? And please, sign it here too. I thought we wouldn't need to sign now that we got the machine. But about that, the machine must still be operated by someone. So we still have to sign, don't you? It's a guarantee. If this machine is perfect for maintaining... But this machine is perfect for maintaining secrecy. Without a key, even I can start it up. But the documents there and, and make sure they are properly aligned and then inside, inside the key into the keyhole now I put the document there and is this automatic uh, is that is this the automatic same machine it looks really ordinary like this just turn the key wait a second Let's hold the pose. Don't move. I'll take a picture. Not afraid of leaks. Uh, do not take a photo. When we first deployed these machines, Mr. Karsik specifically specified that we must use a camera to make a record of everyone that came to get documents stamped. Oh boy. I need to move. Uh, I can't have this document in the frame. Uh, uh, recently someone said that there's going to be a new document promulgated here at the Gaston, Maison Gaston that specifically addresses secrets leaked through cameras. I don't want to be the first one to be made an example of. And let's go wait outside. If we're in the photo, maybe we'll get sucked into some kind of balloon involving leaked secrets. So, uh, okay, I've taken a photo. Please start up the machine. I turned the key already, why isn't it responding? Is it possible? I just repaired it. It can be broken again already. I was beginning to spec the machine. That's all. There's nothing wrong with it. Restart the key and try again. Okay, here it goes. Young takes out the key, put it back in, the machine still doesn't move. It's not working. Tells think of something. Maybe you didn't align the document properly. He you need to feed the document to the markings. There is, there are hidden trigger mechanisms inside. Does the document have anything to do with the machine not starting? Of course it does. Otherwise, how could the machine know that there are documents waiting to be stamped? You turn the key. This is an automatic machine, after all. I'm not operating it manually. Oh, for the love of the articles. Fine, fine. I'll make sure it's properly aligned with all the markings. And once I got the document, place it back, and the machine still sits there signed. It's no good. It still isn't working. How could this be? So, last time I gave it a little smack, and then it started working properly again. Then give, they don't give it a whack. Uh, the, priest should, the priest had no choice but to try it. We, are we getting close to the point where we resort to prayer to try to try and fix it? That's true, we can still pray, can we? Lightly tap the machine. 
The machine replies you with complete silence. Uh, put a bit more whoop onto the tap. The step. The machine seems to be seems like it's too lazy to even care about your efforts. Smacks so hard that its later interactions will fuel it. The machine breaks its silence and lets out a rusty, annoyed sound, as though a very sleepy person just fell out of bed. Whoa, what's the sound? Don't tell Paimon the machine completely broke down. And then, as if the machine is sleepily found its slippers and stumbled over to turn on the light, it begins to operate with a wheel and a cluck. No, oh, it's finally working. The other stampers is well worn, but it works slowly and methodically. With several well worn, isn't that a new thing? With several people on the brink of despair gazing at it intently, the machine slowly drops a step downward, with all the speed of an elderly tank tortoise climbing a cliff. The stamp, having taken its first step onto the paper, seems to stagger around on the document, there before meandering slowly about and finally settling down to rest. Finally, the machine shivers and shudders, and begins to slowly retract the stamp. Ah, I told you it would work. I truly don't understand it, just... What's so great about this machine? It's called automatic, but it's far slower than just doing it by hand. But it is perfect for maintaining confidentiality and secret. secrets. Look around. If you wanted to, we couldn't take this thing out and use it for our own private purpose without permission. No, Axel Smug. What if the machine completely breaks down and Mr. Car 6 isn't here either? What then? Well, it'll still be okay. I have a backup key. To open up this machine? No, to open up the box in Mr. In Mr. Karsik's office. There's a backup stamp in there. The traveler, let's hurry up. We must bind this and staple the documents so we can deliver to Mr. D4. Can't wait to be free from this nightmare. Uh, tell me about the machine. This machine surely is hard to use. Back here. Okay, we have all the stamps. The document has been bound and stapled. And all that's left is to give it to Mr. D4. It'll finally be done. Today, I'm going to get a good night's sleep and forget about all this. Then, I'll take a day off and go find Stealth. Uh, Mr. Yon, do you have a moment? Uh, yes, what is it? Uh, no way did the reimbursement get approved so quickly. That it did not, but Monster Novelette sent someone to me. They had me come ask you, why are you, why are you expensing a single keycap and not an entire typewriter? Because, well, because a single keycap fell off, that's all. Why would I need to expense an entire new typewriter? You know, that does make sense. Perhaps, but our list of items eligible for reimbursement include typewriters, not individual keycaps. As such, keycaps are a brand new payment item. Therefore, you must submit a written document to Monster Novelette and explain in detail why you are expensing a single keycap. Why does it feel like some kind of bad joke and not actual government business? Is that really necessary? That seems kind of ridiculous. So you want me to write a separate report to the Chief Justice explaining how I lost a single keycap? The Mason Carnalis said that it was a request from Monster Novelette himself. As if, the Mason Carnalis says everything is a request from Monster Novelette himself. But no one dares to test the waters and see if that's actually the truth. Come now, Yon, calm down and listen to me. As a questioner of the Mason Gestion, orders from the Chief Justice are an imperative, carrying the full weight of the administration. Simply put, you have no choice but to write it. Now that this is a bad thing, you know, you can use this chance to show off your handwriting to him. Not everyone gets a chance to make a separate report to him. But I... Uh oh. Hello, friends. Good news. We just caught someone leaking secrets with a camera red-handed. 
a sterling example of negative behavior that we shall conclude in the proposal. And as for the criminal who knew the law yet unknowingly violated it, is in fact the very person who reminded everyone not to use camera lest they expose secrets. Mr. Karsix. Uh, it's because of him that y'all was up all night writing a proposal. And now he's been caught breaking the rules first, no less. He used a camera to take multiple photos of his office and he distributed them to reporters. One of the photos included his own minutes from meetings and the public has now discovered. The contents of the minutes were oddly, wildly different from what he said in his previous speeches. Rumors are swirling like mad and it appears that Mr. Karsik's office is about to become the biggest joke in Fontaine again. Wait a minute, what do the minutes have to, what do the minutes have to do with this speech? Almost all of the contents of the speech were agreed upon in the minutes recorded by those minutes. Of course they are related. So why are they so different? That's actually quite normal. The purpose of the meeting and the minutes is to tell us exactly what contents cannot appear in the speech. Karsik himself hasn't got the foggiest notion of what he is going to say and doesn't even have his own ideas. He is completely reliant on being reminded by his subordinates. Wait, so where is Mr. Karsik now? He is awaiting investigation in my office. After all, not only did he leak secret documents, but he also caused quite a storm in the city. I think he may have to stay in there for a while. What about my document? I finished writing it. It's all stamped up and ready and I... Uh, hey now, it's okay, you wrote it. Uh, you guess it out eventually. It wasn't a waste, calm down. Please relax, the rest away. Yawn, yawn, are you there? Mr. Semain, you're finally here. Please, help me think of something. Don't talk about that now. Your keycap. Have you already expensed it? You think? I even have to write a report to Mosanovlech himself about it. Oh, threat. Take a look. Is this the keycap? You... where did you find it? It was under my desk. Uh, just the clearing staff was... As the clearing staff was sweeping, they accidentally stepped, swept it over. Someone saw it and put it on my desk. I thought it was a keycap from my own typewriter at first, so I put it away. But today I took a look and I realized my typewriter wasn't missing a single keycap. So this nightmare when we were in it was what really is the meaning behind my work? Yarn falls to the ground in a faint. Yon Yon is rushed to the doctor. Uh, this is all my fault. If only I found the keycap earlier, things wouldn't have turned out like this. What is this issue about how the keycap? Hello? That's right, everything is a complete mess. Yon didn't even know what to do. Latino and Diff or have also just vanished. What's going on with these guys anyway? Yon cares about the meaning of his work. Yon doesn't know what the point of his work is. The kid is always thinking about those sort of things. The point of work, such as a green top, can such a green top can be easily explained in just a few words. You only heap more pressure on yourself by constantly worrying about such issues. Well, do you know the answer then? No, I never even consider it. I just work. As for me, while I do think about it now and then, I have my own way to deal with stress. If you really want to find an answer, perhaps you could find more time to you could find some time to talk more. We're already talking a lot. But right now I've got to buy some fruits and go see on. Now uh, that's the main matter, and no mistake. I'm also going to help you on apply for sick leave. He he really needs to rest. Great. We each have our tasks, that's the way to get things done. We'll see you later then, Ings. That's weird. Where did I put that secretly for? That's over. I thought we were going to see the guy.
It only brings stuff to him when it's really, really important stuff. But anyway, it's cases about the cases that you have to do in the court. But I don't think he's aware of how messed up things are in his office, how inefficient it all is. Apparently there's one more quest over here, but it isn't marked when I pass around. And I'm pretty sure I didn't spoke to this rises. Yeah, there's nothing marked here. But apparently... Slowazi. 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 Yeah, she has a quest, but there's no marking. Uh, what are you doing here all by yourself? She's at her home, just like everybody. What are you talking about, Paimon? Uh, don't suddenly talk to people while you're staying behind them. You almost made me scatter this powder. Powder? Uh, what's this stuff? Gems. Gems? But why would there be any here? Wouldn't it be stranger if not find them here? I mean, this is my workshop in which I process gems. Although I must admit that it didn't have an official name yet. They didn't consider calling it Studios Luazi in the past. But I'm not sure if using my name so directly is a good idea. What do you mean by processing gems? Uh, that means that I turn gems into various pretty ornaments and stuff. Unfortunately, I won't be able to take new commissions for a while. I need to concentrate on making paints. Well, I am still using gems for that, though. You are going to make paints out of gems? Are you serious? Yes, what's wrong? Well, it just feel like a waste. You could just give them to Paimo. But still, why do you need to make paints? I'm pretty sure there's no, there's no such step in using gems to make ornaments, right? Well, a child who loves painting came to me, came to ask me if I could make paints as shiny gems, uh, as bright as the sun. Uh, moreover, she recently saved my younger sister when the village was shaking very violently. That's why I've decided to try to fulfill her wish by creating a paint as bright as the sun and giving it to her as a thank you gift. I must be referring to... Mamir. Is the girl who enjoys painting you spoke of named Mamir? Uh, yes, do you two know her? You tell us about your previous experience with Mamir? Uh, so the two of you are the steamed ones who saved Puka alongside Mamir? Steamed ones? Yes, that was us. What do you call us the steam anything? Yes, it was us. Thank you, thank you both so much. If it weren't for you, Puka might have been... Please, take this, if you don't mind, that is. Beautiful too. Thank you. Uh, can we really take them? They look really expensive. Still, permanent in my mirror would go commission people of her own accord. Oh, she didn't really commission to me to do anything, did she? She just asked if I could do it. In fact, she ran off before I could even reply. Uh, yeah, that sounds like something she would do. Speaking of which, Steam, Ignos, and Paimon, uh, what would you call the closest thing to the sun in color? Something yellow? I have tried to observe the sun myself, but I am not sure what materials I should use to recreate its tones. Uh, closest to the sun color, you say? Gold, perhaps? We don't have gold. The sun? Okay, so you could probably use my hair. Huh? Come on, you can use hair to make paint. Why not? Uh, just think. Uh, we... We have to... We have to have seen something that most resembles in the sun in color. And that can be found just about everywhere. Uh, what do you consider close to the same color? Oh, one of those. Yeah, those seems nice too. Not the Nullus. Oh yeah, just the ones I can are all up here. 
Hmm. Those can be found about anywhere. But I'd say this is maybe too yellow. I don't know. Should be a bit more orangish. Ah, I see, I see. This is the berry you spoke of. It is cold and hard, yet supple. Uh, it stings the eye like the sunlight of a winter afternoon. Surely this must be a metal that humans forge to make their weapons. Thank you very much. I shall remember this item. Uh, how were you able to see all that? Sloas carefully checks the material before laying... Uh, Uh, whatever the case, thank you bo thank you too for your help. However, I cannot simply take what is yours, Tim Ignis. Thus, I shall simply learn the name of the material from you, and I shall later set out to find it myself. Still, would you not say that the, this color is a bit too intense? The color of the sun should have a lighter touch, I think. Do you mean it should lean further towards being white? Uh, that's true. The sun is more white than it is gold. White, you say? However, I'm not sure what materials we must use to achieve this lighter shade. Could you just add water? I was going to go with Paimon's hair. Add water. I have tried that in the past, but it not turns out so well. Colors produce the way turn out rather murky. They lack the striking brilliance the sun has. So, it would be best if we could use some other material. Let's say we can find a source of bright white things around, can't we? Okay, let's try to go with the most basic and easy to find. Yeah, those. No, no, just seeing aren't everywhere. Let's use things they can find everywhere. You know, wouldn't a metal painted white simply be a white iron chunk? Uh, come to think of it, considering the price difference between stone and metal, there might actually be some unscrupulous people who might paint stone to sell it as white iron. As long as carefully checks the material before hanging them back to you. I see, so this is the color that you call white, yes? I cannot help but feel that this is the exact opposite of what the sun's color is. Uh, would it, it suppose then not be more suitable? It's opposite. You mean black? Black? Yes, that must be it. Black. A brilliant solution, Steam Paimo. That must be the sun's color instead. It feels wrong somehow. Wonderful, I'm feeling of you, Steam Paimo. No. But why black? Well, the sun's golden, so it was the sun at night. That's what's. Huh? The case could ask you one more thing of you too. Please bring me something that is black. The way I shall know what material I can must use to create a color as radiant as the sun. Did I miss something? Uh, do we really have to look for that? Bible things we are starting to veer further and further away from anything associated with the sun. But since she's asked us to, let's go find her something that's black, shall we? That. This is ordinary iron ch chunk. I see. So this is what you would term black. Well, it's a shade. Its shade is a little off, but my mom reckons it works just fine. Carefully check some material before hanging them back to you. Thank you very much. With this, I'm sure I shall be able to make pigments as bright as the sun, which may then give her as a gift. Will this really work? Or rather, can you make bright colors using such base materials? I suspect not. It's not utterly impossible. That's true, the colors my mirror uses are pretty weird too. Whatever the case, I thank you too for your help. Please take this as my thanks. Shiny gems and components too. Uh, here, 
Uh, I am glad you like them. If you desire my, any ornaments in the future, you know where to find me. Do you have a shop now? I can buy stuff from you. Yeah, this wasn't even a quest. There will... Didn't appear anything there. I have a materials I want to arrive. We meet again. How are things? Would like to present some accessories. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'd like to see. What do you have? How's the pain making going? They're still in the final adjustment phase. We should be done pretty soon. It is taking longer than I thought it would, though. But just like with gems, I have to create perfect paints. If it isn't perfect work, it isn't worth doing. Uh, if only Puka would understand that sooner. Uh, you spoke of materials you ordered. That's right, I refer to gems I ordered from the ancient for the merchant of in Fountain. Just like how they deliver here. Just like how it is with paint making materials you showed me previously. There is much work for a gem artisan like myself that I cannot start without source materials. Uh, I just wish those goods would come in faster. Well, if you purchase things that are going to be delivered here, why couldn't you purchase the ones from me? You rewarded me, rewarded me afterwards, but you didn't take the things I brought you. Uh, let's try to get Novlet. No, but I'm quite interested in him. When I'm almost out of time, if I still didn't get him, I'll probably spend some Primo gems. Although I haven't tested him yet, he may suck, but I, I don't think so. Uh, and I'm out.